this video, we'll walk through integrating your Active account with your Salesforce account in order to use data from Salesforce to drive document creation in Active. Here, we'll be walking through the administrative items of installing the Active Managed Package in Salesforce, configuring your Salesforce settings to integrate with Active, and configuring your Active integration settings to integrate with Salesforce. At this point, it's worth noting that if you do not have administrator access to your Salesforce org, you'll need to find a Salesforce administrator in your org in order to follow all these steps and make the necessary configurations. As a first step, we'll install the Octave Managed Package in Salesforce. I can find links to that managed package from the Octave support article on Salesforce installation. And since I'm working in a developer org here, I'll use the link for production. We also have a separate link for sandbox orgs. To get started, I'll just click on that link. I can always refer back to these instructions if I need to later. At this point, I'll want to select install for all users. I could choose specific users or admins only, but I would need to go back in and ensure that all of the users have the necessary permissions for using Octave in Salesforce. Choosing all users, make sure that all my users that need access will have it. Once my installation is complete, I'll click done. And I see my managed package installed here. Users will be managed in your Octave account itself as opposed to from the package in Salesforce. Next, within Salesforce, we'll search for custom settings. And I can see on my Octave labeled custom settings here, we'll click managed. And at this point, we'll want to enter in our Octave URL to tell Salesforce which Octave org they should be connecting to. And here, I'll enter in my Octave's account URL. You'll need to enter in your own account URL at this point. We'll leave HTTPS checked before clicking Save. So now we've told Salesforce which Octave account to look at for the integration. And next, we'll configure Octave to look at the right Salesforce org. And from my settings screen in Octave, you can see that we're not yet connected. Taking a step back to get to this screen, I'll click on my user icon, Administration, Integrations, Salesforce, and Edit. Now, since I have my other tab open and logged into Salesforce, I'll click Connect to Salesforce, and it prompts me to allow access to this account. I'll click Allow, and now my account's connected. We'll return to this page shortly after looking at some of the other setup items. Back in Salesforce, the next thing that I want to do is make sure that my users can interact with Octave within the Salesforce interface. To do that, we'll want to add Octave buttons and related lists to our Opportunity page layout. I'll go to Object Manager. We'll find our Opportunity object. And we'll go to Page Layouts. Here, we'll choose to edit the default page layout, and if I'm in Lightning, I'll go to Mobile and Lightning Actions and select the second new document button, or the one where I hover over it says Tinderbox New Document Button, and drag that into my Lightning Actions. If I'm in Classic, 
I'll go to the buttons option and drag that into my custom buttons area. Next, I'll go to related lists and drag my documents just underneath my opportunity products list. I'll add some additional columns here. So I'll go ahead and add created date, last modified date, last viewed, status, value, and views. We'll sort this by created date descending so that the most recent document appears at top. And then we'll click save. Back on my opportunity, we'll verify that this was set up correctly. I'll refresh my screen. And I can see I have my new document button and my Octave Documents related list. Returning to the integration screen that we connected earlier, we see that we're still connected. And this time I'll scroll down and go into a little more detail on some of the other settings here. Depending on my starting account, I can see that I may already have some fields mapped for me. Here, the incoming data section is selecting which fields we want to make available in Octave Documents from Salesforce. If I need to map additional fields or need to remap these, I would select my launching object here, or the object where we're launching our documents from. So we'll click Opportunity, and I can select the fields that I want to add or take away here. After clicking Save, I can also drill down to other objects here using the account name from the Opportunity account here. And after clicking Save, we can see that added to the already mapped fields in the table beneath. I can also get to child relationships in the same manner and drill down further here as well. Here we've already mapped these fields, but if you need to change them or map new fields, this is the place to do it. Further down, in my outgoing data section, we're going to set up a scenario where when my documents are accepted, Octave will automatically update the Salesforce Opportunity stage to closed one. Again, this is something that may already be set up in your starter account. However, to add it back or to add new rules like this, we'll choose the event that you want to look at. We'll choose Accept. You can scope it to specific templates and then we'll choose our opportunity, the object we're launching from. Stage is the field we want to update. And selecting closed one as the stage value. And we'll click add to see it in the table beneath. And at the bottom of the screen, we'll set up the assign template section, or as it's also called, template mapping. Template mapping is where you can have a template automatically selected based on some criteria in Salesforce for which documents the users will be having as a starting point when creating from Salesforce. Here, we'll set up the opportunity as the launching object. We won't get more specific with fields or criteria in this example. We'll just leave this as opportunity and we'll choose the Salesforce Sample Proposal Template. Here, we see it listed beneath in the template mappings that have been set up. Great. Now that you've set this up, your accounts are connected. You can see Octave within the Salesforce interface. We have your fields mapped from Salesforce to be available in Octave documents. And Octave is automatically updating Salesforce opportunity stage upon acceptance.